Welcome to the Slime. British United Isles. <laughs> Aikiba Kimaraho. Shipang. A scouser is somebody from Liverpool. Yeah. A Liverpudlian. A Liverpudlian. So the Beatles are scousers. My husband is a scouser. And that's not offensive. No, no, it's a It weirdly thing. sounds like it could be. No, an no, no. So <laughs> one is a scouser with great pride. Okay, yeah. great pride. Yeah. Peng Ting. I mean, I've heard people say Peng Ting. I don't usually say Peng Ting myself, nor have I ever been called Peng Ting. I think it's attractive. Uh, in some way, usually probably females, but you know, if someone said ping ting to me, I guess I'd say thank you. The dog's bollocks. Mm. Dog's bollocks, or the, or the smaller version, the mutt's nuts, or the cat's pajamas, or the hands rounds. Uh, it's basically the best, the best of the, the best. dog's bollocks. Yeah. Why dog's testicles represent that, I don't know. But. Yeah. but if you see a dog with a really good pair, Everyone does remark on them. Yeah, because most dogs, unfortunately, you see have... that dog's nuts? Yeah, look at the size of that dog's bollocks. They're the dog's bollocks. They're the dog's bollocks. Spondulies. Do you know what that is? I have ha a guess. haven't the foggiest. Spondulies. Uh... Spondulies is money. Oh. The reason we make films, Jay. <laughs> the reason we make films. <laughs> Madwit. Well, I'd say Madwit is uh, Sounds like from Manchester or something. Uh, yeah, you could use that in Madchester. 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 Scotland, Madwit means I was full of liquor, I was full of the juice, okay, and so I was good. like, I was mm. having a great time, I was at the peak. At the I was Madwit, man. Quitch. <laughs> it's Kutch. Now this that, is... that, 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 that seems a bit very dirty. I'm gonna the give you one. Entirety. I'm now gonna give you one. A kutch? I'm gonna give you a kutch in front of everyone because it's better to show this rather than say it. Come here, give oh! us a kutch. Oh, give us a kutch. What's with the W? Tidy. Kutch. Oh, in this context. Oh. oh. <laughs> minging. Minging. What is that? Ugly. Oh, he's minging. If someone's minging, they're not attractive. Yeah. Ooh. Mm. Damn. Damn. Or you could say, what a minger. What a minger. I like that better. <laughs> Oh, oh, he's oh, such a minger. So he's such a minger. Go on your cell! Go on, you can do this. It's an, a sign of encouragement, not something you often get in Scotland. Balloon. I assume it's a balloon? No, you'd be wrong. Yeah. A balloon is an idiot. Like, see that guy there? He's a right balloon. He's a balloon. Look at these two balloons. Oh, look at these balloons. I could do that. These How many spondulies do these balloons get when they're <laughs> in that shape? These two balloons certainly love spondulies. <laughs> Brill is brilliant. Notice I'm English now and I've gone into my English accent. Fit. Fit means you look good. Like, you're buff. Buff is another word for good. Now, this is, a, this is a fun one, you know, because I was named Sexiest Man of the Year. And uh, what you could say is Idris Elba is fit. <laughs> See what I did there? Bins. I would assume this is like a garbage can. Nope. Say you were to go into the countryside, you might take these with you. Like binoculars. Yes. Well done. So British people are using binoculars so much that they need a shortened nickname for them. Yeah. They love bird watching so much. Because if so you much. really are posh, saying the word binoculars, it takes hours. Who has the so just, have you got the bins instead of the binoculars? It seems like an unnecessary That's nickname, why. but okay. Yeah, All well, right. there you go. Numpty. Numpty means kind of what it sounds like, someone who's a bit stupid, but in a generally harmless way, but pretty annoying way. Numpty can also up the ante in a violent predicament, because if you call a very big person a numpty, you are really pushing the remix. To be fair, if you call a very big person any of the words on this list, we can't be held responsible for the outcome. Wanker. You're, you know, a, a guy, um, well, someone who, it's derived from masturbation and you can act like a wanker if you're doing something, you know, you're being, behaving like a jerk. Barney, Ugh, the name of my ex. <laughs> Barney, like you're having a fight. So let's have a Barney then. They're having a proper Barney over there. As in Judy? As in she's great. Wait a second, yeah. the modern day youth say Dench, as in Judy Dench, and it means something's really great. That is so cool. That's like people in our country being like, that's pretty straight. We say youth. Youth? The youth. Yeah. yeah the youth say Dench. The youth. That's Dench. Barmy. Well, he's Barmy, isn't he? He's Barmy. Bit, bit mental. Yeah. Bit mental, yeah. Bit of a mental case. So all the cricket supporters who go around the world supporting the England team are known as the Barmy Army. They dress up in silly costumes. They are Barmy. 
bit of a lunatic. What part of your anatomy might be your bahuki? Your bum? Your bum. Ah, your okay. bahuki. Shake yeah. your bahuki. Lato. This is like a very drunk. Very, very drunk. Very, very drunk. Something I know very little about. <laughs> Jammy. My dad uses this one a lot. You're jammy. You're in luck. You're really lucky. And maybe it's just him, or maybe everyone usually extends it as jammy dodger. We've got these little biscuits, like cookie things in the UK. Do you have them in America? Maybe not, and you know, you don't know anything. We all just uh, tea. Alcohol? No, oh. it means a specific type of English tea, which is kind of a blend of many leaves. Wow, this yeah. is so crazy. This is the <laughs> that's the most British thing I've ever heard. Take the mickey. Taking the mickey, you just the, abbreviate it to take the mick. Affectionate term for being derogatory about someone and getting away with it. Take the piss, the really. It's the same thing. You're piss. having a laugh, you're having a bubble. Knob. Knob, it's... It's the, your knob, innit? Yeah, it's... Your penis. Yeah. You say, I'm my knob, you know, if you banged yeah. into a wall or... Or don't be a knob. Don't be a knob. If you think of all the penile epithets, they all have different meanings. Like, if you're a prick, then you're a... You prick. You're yeah. a bit stupid. But then if you're a knob, you're, you are stupid, but less, it's an affectionate kind of term. But it, it's nice, it's, if you're a bit of a knob, like I'd say to you, oh, stop being a knob, Henry, and I wouldn't expect you to get offended. But if I called you a dick, then I'd be like, I'd be wrong, because yeah. you're not hey, a dick. Nick. You're a lovely man. Mom. Sorry. <laughs> Her Majesty's pleasure. Making light of being in prison because you're in the jails of Her Majesty. So it's a kind of, it's ironic, I guess. <laughs> it's Her Majesty's pleasure to lock you up. On the Raz is one of my favorite expressions that I often get taken the piss out of for saying, but it means on the town, you're out for oh, a good wow. night. Oh, wow. Like, get... We'll be on the Raz tonight yeah, for yeah. the premiere. Exactly, yeah. What is it, dorky to say that? No, I guess it's a bit old fashioned, so people think that I sound like some kind of cockney, which I'm definitely not. I'm gonna start saying that too. On the rest. Hey, on the rest. Oh, tonight? On the rest. On the rest. Yeah. On the town. In it, it's kind of like uh, getting affirmation. And it comes from ain't it, also isn't it. So it's become in it. It's obvious. In it. Peas. Modern day London for a bit of, bit of Wonga. I don't know if it. Is that right? It's a specific amount of money, or it's just, you know, like a bag of cash, an envelope of cash, yeah. making peas. Roadman is yeah. out making peas. Oh, I swear, our country has the best Sweet. slang. I just want to take a minute to say that. Spend a penny. That comes from the fact that you used to have to put a one pence into the lavatory stalls um, in order to access them. Access them um, to do a number one or number two, or if you're unlucky, a number three. To spend a penny is go number one. Yeah, it did. And yeah. what is it if you do a number two? Round. <laughs> <laughs> Gallus. Good words. You guys know Gallus? No. no. What? Gallus means full of oneself, full of beans, full of your cock of the what? Oh. You are mm. like, yeah, I'm Gallus, man. Uh, I'm okay. James Michael yeah. is Gallus, isn't he? I rubber dub dub. Do you want to go for a rubber dub dub? To the rubber dub dub. It's what cock, the rhyming slang for a pub. Oh, Which I thought is... that was like a massage. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you ask for a rubber dub dub in a massage parlor in England, you might get. Punched. You might get, yeah. yeah. Oh, you would get punched. Well, it just, it sounds a bit illicit. It is. Can I have a rubber dub dub? Yeah, it's a yeah. bit of a, might be a bit of a come on. Rogering is um, when you need a good old rogering, and that means you want to have some strong sexual relations. Pure Barry means that's brilliant, it's wonderful. In Scotland, pretty much everybody is sarcastic all the time. So there's a pretty good chance if you hear Pure Barry, they're actually telling you that you're a dick, which is pretty much what every other conversation is called. <laughs> like my friend a few years ago said to me, he put his arms around me and he said, I just want to say, Jerry, through all this uh, success, I love that you have me changed. You're still a dick. Baggermans means a lot. So you can be like, there's baggermans of people in here. He says this. Pingich o gerich wyn drobl clant asiliwch go go go. So this is the longest place name, I believe, in the world. I think I, I knew that. It's a small village. In fact, it's all it is is a, a, a railway station now, platform. And now, are you all, as Welsh people, required to memorize yeah. how to say that? It's like passing your citizenship. Right, basically. exactly. You have to learn how to do it. And actually what it is, is directions of how to get there. <laughs> Over the hill, round the corner, second tree on the left, keep on till morning. That That's makes sense. So let's all say it together. 
Sure. Plan fire put gwinge go get a quin robber clad to silly of go go go. Thank you very much for watching this. Hopefully this was somewhat useful. Um, thank you. Cheerio. Bye.